Genesis chapter 5, verse 3. When Adam was 130 years old, he became the father of a son who was just like him. In his very image, he named his son Say. Hello, my name is Reverend Kofi Sabon, and this is the Christian Authority Network channel. Welcome, and today I want to share with you some mysterious facts about the man Methuselah. Now, there are some facts in the Bible that are not hidden, but are very difficult for a common reader to discover. Today, I pray with you that may the spirit of revelation lead you anytime you open the Bible. May the Holy Spirit give you revelations so that you will be able to discover the facts and the truths and the, and the wisdom that God wants his children to carry anytime they open and read the Bible. Today, I want to lead you in discovering these facts about Methuselah, which I know will help grow your faith and also encourage you to live a righteous life. Do you know that Methuselah lived to be 969 years old? This is an open fact. I believe everyone knows it. But do you actually know that Methuselah didn't die a natural death? Yes, the Bible will lead us and it will, the Holy Spirit will help us to find out how Methuselah died. Let us go into the Bible. But before we do that, I will want to tell you that if you find our channel useful to you and interesting, kindly subscribe so that whenever we have new videos, you will also be able to get it and learn with us. You can also share our video with other people so that they can also benefit from it. Methuselah actually died from the flood of Noah. He did not actually die through any disease. He was killed by the flood of Noah. Did you know about that? I will lead you through the Bible to find it out. Do you also know that the day Methuselah was born, Adam was still alive? And that Adam even helped in raising Methuselah? It is in the Bible. We will also talk about that. Do you know that if Methuselah was a righteous person, he could have lived to be more than the age he lived? He could have been thousand years or more. Did you know that? It is also in the Bible. We are going to discover all these things. So kindly join me in our journey as we go through the Bible. Now one thing, the books of genealogy, they are one of the most uninteresting parts of the Bible. When you are reading the Bible and you come across the genealogical readings, it is very uninteresting and boring. But these are where mysteries and facts are found. Today, we are looking at Genesis chapter 5, but for the sake of time, I am not going to read it. I am rather going to help you in discovering the facts. Facts number one. The day that Adam gave birth to Seth, Adam was 130 years. It is written in the Bible. And it is also a fact that the earth itself was 130 years old from creation. Because the Bible makes us believe that Adam was created on the sixth day of creation. Now, if Adam was created on the sixth day of creation, that means it was in the same year of creation. So when the Bible says that Adam was 130 years old when he gave birth to Seth, that also implies that the earth was 130 years old. I believe you agree with me. Now, let's continue from there. Now, Seth also lived to be 105 years old and gave birth to a son and named his son Enos. Enos, therefore, came into the world at the age when the earth was 235 years old. When you add 105 to, two, to 130, you get 235. Now, Canaan also lived. Enos also lived to be 90 years and gave birth to Canaan. So that means that Canaan, the day he was born, the earth was 325 years old and so was the age of Adam. Now, Canaan also lived to be 70 years old and gave birth to Mahalel. Mahalalel. Now, that means that the day that Mahalalel was born, the earth was 395 years old. Mahalalel also lived to be 75 years old and gave birth to a son called Jared. So, the day that Jared was born, the earth was now 470 years old. 
Jared also lived to be 162 years old and gave birth to Enoch. Now, when you add 162 to 470, you get 632 years. So that means the day Enoch was born, the earth was 632 years old. 632 years old. And so was the life, the, the, the age of Adam. Enoch lived to be 65 years and gave birth to Methuselah. Now, 65 plus 632 gives us 697 years. Write this age down, 697 years. That is the exact age of the earth and of Adam, the day Methuselah was born, 697 years. Now, Methuselah also lived to be 187 years old before he gave birth to his son called Lamech. Now, when you add 187 to 697, you arrive at 884. 884. Now, it is at this point when Adam was actually going near to his death. Now, it is also a fact that because Adam was only 697 years old when Methuselah was born, then Methuselah came to meet Adam. In fact, Adam lived for more than 250 years after the birth of Methuselah. So I believe you understand me when I say that Adam actually took part in raising Methuselah. Now let's continue. After the birth of Lamech, from Lamech to Noah was 182 years. The Bible says Lamech was lived to be 182 years old before he gave birth to Noah. That means 182 plus 884, that will give us 1066 years. Between this period, when Lamech was born to when Noah was born, it was in this period that Adam died. I believe you understand me now. So, the only person who did not come to meet Adam is Noah. Noah did not come to meet Adam, but Methuselah met Adam. In fact, Lamech also met Adam. Now, at the age of the earth, which is 1066 years old, when Noah was born, to the time when God spoke with Noah was 500 years old. So when we add 500 years to 1066 years, we now arrive at the new age of 1566 years. And this is the exact age of the earth when God spoke with Noah concerning the building of the ark. And this is the time when God picked Noah the, the, the earth was 1,566 years old. Now, let's also consider this fact. Noah lived another 100 years before the floods came to cover the earth. So when we add this 100 years to 1,566, we now arrive at 1,666 years. So simplified, the earth was 1,666 years old when the floods covered the earth and all human beings and other animals that were, did not make it into the ark died. Now, what are we trying to discover? Let me take you through this. The earth was 1,666 years when the flood covered the earth. But the day that Methuselah was born, the earth was 697 years. The day Methuselah was born, the earth was 697 years. The day that the flood covered the entire earth and killed everybody, the earth was 1,666 years. Simple calculation. Subtract the age of the earth when Methuselah was born from the age of the earth 
when the flood covered the air. So, 697 years subtracted from 1,666 years. You arrive at the answer of 969 years. That is the exact age of Methuselah. That means Methuselah, the day that he died, is the exact day that the floods covered the earth. This also establishes the fact that Methuselah was not a righteous person. Because during the time when the earth was corrupt and God was looking for a righteous person, Methuselah was alive, but God did not choose him. He chose Noah. This is also another fact that even though um, um, Enoch, who was the father of Methuselah, was a righteous man, Methuselah did not take after his father Enoch. Methuselah actually corrupted himself by following the ways of the earth. So the day that the, God, the Lord was destroying humanity, he destroyed Methuselah alongside the unrighteous people. These are the facts that are right here in the Bible. And when you have time, read through the entire Genesis chapter 5 and do these calculations using this video as your guide. You will understand it better. If you also want to understand it, I recommend that you watch this video over and over. It will also help you to understand the facts that I am sharing with you. My name is Reverend Kofi Sapon. This is the Christians Authority Network channel. We also share this video with the Moti Minds TV. If this video has been useful to you, kindly subscribe and share the video. Don't forget to comment and also add your, 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 your knowledge or what you know or what you think to what we have shared with you. We are glad we can also learn from you. If you know something beyond what we know, kindly share with us. God bless you and be a blessing unto another person. I will come your way again next time with another interesting video. Until then, stay with us and stay blessed.